Hey all Jesse Campbell here, Realtor Extraordinaire and Certified Hyperlocal Real Estate Specialist with the agency. Got the good word today. That's right, it's weekly market update time. Um, again, I'm pulling these numbers off of the Pikes Peak Association of Realtors multiple listing system as of today at about um, 10.40, yeah, no actually 11.45. So um, just trying to be as specific as possible. Again, this is week number four, so hopefully if, you, if you've been watching, you already kind of understand what's going on. But I do a week by week view. So I have last week's numbers and I'm gonna kind of look at them compared to this week's numbers. So we've gone down a little bit. I'm not surprised um, on that, by the way. We went from over 375 on the 30 day view to about 373, so it's about a hit of around $2,000. It's not that big of a hit. Something to take special note of though, um, supply sold over the last 30 days compared to the last 30 days of last week has gone up by 5%, give or take, um, going from 954 houses sold in 30 days to 1,004. So I'm seeing a lot of, I have two, I have two listings right now that went under contract both after multiple offers. And it's kind of funny because they kind of both took like the same time frame. They both went, or went on the market the same day. They both went under contract the same day, multiple offers. After a little bit of uh, time though, what happened was people got scared about the coronavirus and then interest rates went back down and then it was a frenzy out there. So um, this does go down for now, but I do think it's gonna go back up probably by the next time we talk, if not the week after that. We will see, I don't know, I might be wrong. So um, the average sell price though, by the way, was $373,527 and $527.29 um, with 1,657 dollars and 90 cents in seller's concessions. That actually went down from last week by um, $50. And then the days of market went up by about one day to 32.8 days on market on average. Now compared to um, the year to date look at the top five uh, selling sub areas per number of houses sold, it kind of changes a little bit. So you'll see that our number five spot is again, uh, Ridgeview at Stetson Hills with 25 houses sold this year so far at $317,080 after 4.76 days on market uh, with an average sold square footage of 2,134.32 square feet. Um, so everybody's kind of gone down just just a little bit. Um, number We have two for the, three, the number three spot. Um, 3A is going to be Stetson Hills with 30 sales so far year to date with an average sale price of $328,844.93 or 0.93 cents or sorry 93 cents after 6.37 days on market with an average of 2,336.63 square feet sold. Um, spot number 3B is Wolf Ranch. Uh, again, 30 cells, just like Stetson Hills, that's why they're tied, with, at a sell price of $435,693.03. Um, that has gone down by about $5,000 from the week before. Uh, again, I think everything's going to go back up, though. So, Banning Lewis Ranch is at number two, with 34 houses sold so far this year at $398,238.88 after 30.94 days with 3,004 square feet, or 3,004.76 square feet sold. Um, and then number one is, again, Meridian Ranch with 47 houses sold, um, substantially above the others, at an average sale price of 390000 seven hundred ninety five dollars and sixty eight cents after forty one point one one days on market at three thousand three hundred ninety one point six eight square feet um so a couple things that go into that now those those top three sub areas the wolf ranch banning lewis ranch and uh meridian ranch all ranches by the way that's funny i didn't even realize that they're all still building new builds right now. And so their numbers are slightly inflated by that. When you have um, a neighborhood that's still building up, they're selling all these houses as they build. Whereas a more established neighborhood, 
such as Stetson Hills, it's a bit more interesting that you see high turnover rate. I think what that is is just that Stetson Hills is a very popular place for a lot of people. Um, just a really popular place for a lot of people. And they, people know about it. It's where a lot of military goes. And so there's a lot of transitioning housing going on. I think it's a step between like Pikes Peak Park and like Briargate. I, I hope you guys understand the comparison they're making there. So, uh, you know, just because you get, you get smaller, smaller houses in, in Pikes Peak Park and then bigger in Stetson Hills and then bigger in other places. And so it's kind of a transitioning uh, housing neighborhood, Stetson Hills that is, as far as uh, usage goes, because it's kind of in the medium zone in square footage and even in price. It's well below the medium uh, or the average price for our city. So it's still affordable in Stetson Hills. And you got 2,000 plus square foot houses. You got four plus bed houses. So it's great for um, a growing family unit so to speak. So, anywho, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment on whatever social media this is on down below, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, or if you'd rather um, text me or call me on my personal cell phone number, 801-391-5568, or if you're not comfortable putting your stuff out there in the comments section and you're not comfortable calling me just yet, go ahead and shoot me a private message on, again, whatever social media this is on. So, Again, my name is Jesse Campbell with The Agency. Thank you, guys.